Hey guys, welcome back to another episode here with Dastardly Danny. We're gonna have a dastardly time, or maybe a super sad time, with Valiant Hearts, the Great War. Or Valiant. I can't really pronounce things. Anyways, this was recommended by Redthorn, a commenter on my YouTube. He said I would cry really hard, so let's do it. Let's all cry together. Let's, let's... This is a new game. Uh, da, 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 da. All right, cool. So, already in the introduction, I have no idea what's going on, but I'm assuming it's about a great war. Freely inspired by the events unfolding on the Western Front between 19... August 1st, 1914. 1914. After the assassination of Prince Franz Ferdinand of the Austro-Hungarian Empire, the German Empire declares war on Russia. Because of established alliances, France is preparing for conflict. A few hours after the announcement of the general mobilization, German civilians living in France are asked to leave the country. Karl is one of them. Well, this is already looking pretty hardcore. He has a baby. I'm gonna take this off. Carl! A few days after Carl was deported, the war was hungry for more and took away a meal as well. A heavy-hearted Emil was called up to fight and left the farm for Samuel. Like so many others, he had no idea what fate had in store for him. Do not make me kill Carl. This is already bad. Oh, it's just... Ooh, okay, fun facts. I'm probably not gonna go around with all of them with you. These are probably gonna be on my own personal time. But I will at least read this first one for you. Just to give you a proper setting. War is declared June 28th, 1914. Archduke Franz Ferdinand, heir to the Austrian-Hungarian throne, was assassinated in Sar Sarajevo. Sorry. Some of these words I am not going to be able to say properly in English because Spanish is my first language. <laughs> As a result of the chain of diplomatic and military alliances in place, the event launched Europe into an armed conflict that, with the involvement of colonies, took a global dimension. August 1st, Germany declared war on Russia. August 3rd, Germany declared war on France. August 4th, Britain declared war on Germany. August 11th and 12th, France and Britain declared war on Austria. -Hungary. Okay. <laughs> Oh, wow. Calme-moi le vidéo. Allez, mon sang. Et Fléon. Allez. That's it. No training. You're just going to make me. Bravo, madame. Oh, 
Panda! That's about right. Oh, yes. Here's my training. goes well. Rely on our neighbors for help. They've always been gracious and charitable people. I'll write again as soon as I get my assignment. Please kiss my little grandson for me. At the train depot in Paris, trying to reach his regiment at Platform 21, Emile would meet the man he would soon fight alongside. The man who would come to be his truest friend. Are they picking on him because he's, he's black? Still not letting you through. Okay, we'll figure something out. Because we're besties. Or we're gonna be. What is this? What does this do? Station master's whistle. Steam trains made stations very noisy places. Uh, whistles were the best way to attract passengers' attention. So how do I use it? Seriously, how do I use it? No, that's not it. What do I do? All he has to do is pull that thing. Let's try again. Maybe I just need to hit the bell? No? Shh. I know what I'm doing, game. What was it that I need to do for help? <laughs> Hints? Okay, so it's not the regular wine, it's just... Okay... Assume? Sorry guys, this is taking me a bit. It's this one. It's this one. Uh, ooh, uh, 
Dis-moi, elle est pas baptisée. Yeah, but what about my friend? Do I just leave him? I guess I have to find something else further down to help my friend. Oh, I see. Oh, he wants music. He has a love for music, but I have nothing to do. What, what is that? <laughs> Dear parents, I am all set. I'm all set to be mobilized to the front. We're going to take Alaseg to Lorraine back to the back from the Germans. Don't worry, I'll be home before Christmas. Oh my love, Marcel. He loves music, so I guess this is a pattern. This is actually really cute for such a heavy topic that is war. They made it seem, you know, adorable. Or like, not a, not adorable, but... Thank you, brother. He's from USA. Sorry, my lighting is just terrible. August 21st, 1914. Emil's regiment was sent to fight against the 71st German Division led by Baron von Dorf. The general cheer of the first hours dissipated into the fear of first combat. Oh my god, machine guns? We're not gonna, we're not gonna. Yeah, keep going forward. <laughs> I'm going forward. Oh, I missed it. I was supposed to pick that up. I can't say! <laughs> I had way too many close calls here. Did I do something wrong here? Was I supposed to get shot? Oh no, did I play this wrong? Is that Emil? Miss Marie Chayon. Private Emile Chayon from the 150th Infantry Regiment was wounded by enemy fire on August 21st. He has been captured by the enemy. Hopefully, you shall receive news from him soon. Oh my god. Freddy, originally from America, enlisted voluntarily in the French forces at the start of the war. Behind his bravery, hid a man already devastated by the war's effects. A man with one sole obsession. 
punish those who had destroyed his life. It was at the Battle of the Marne that Freddy finally picked up the trail of the regiment commanded by Baron von Hoeff. Wow, now I'm playing as him? Allez, allez. We gotta do that? That's fine. Bravo! Ooh, bravo. That's what I did, I pressed D, but... Oh, wait, is he on my side? Yes, he is. <laughs> Danny. What's that? Wow. Well, I fucked up. <laughs> I totally noticed that as I blew up everything. Great. Good for me, Danny. Good for me, Danny. It's not gonna make it. I have to get closer. Ah, okay. Come on! I was supposed to hit him, was I? Put it there. There you go. I'm so proud of you. Well, no, I'm gonna stay there, right by the explosion. Totally fine. I'm a real American hero! this what 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 does this do oh, oh okay that 
Because they're made out of metal, they won't bounce so much, maybe? Whoa! <laughs> so that's how that works. It's actually a pretty interesting game thus far. Still getting used to the controls here, so I might be a little clumsy. But still, so far so good. Whoa! I didn't know where the gun was going. Oh god. There we go. How far does it go? It's pretty far. There we go. Go ahead. Patience is a virtue. Come on. Come on. Sorry. James Bond. My name is Bond. <laughs> James Bond. Alright, cool. We're doing good. Really getting to know stuff here. Oh, they're always drinking wine, those savages. I always feel like that's unsafe. Okay. I don't know. <laughs> I'm gonna wait. <laughs> I feel like I took too long. I needed to punch it. Sometimes the the actual artwork kind of blends in a little too well, and it doesn't look like like it's something I need to break, but instead something that just is in the background. Am I supposed to just... I am I'm confused at this point. Do I push him off? I 
I got this. I don't need a hint. Do I? I had this and I already got the anchor anchor chief did I did I not get the anchor chief ah, I see I could go upstairs get these fruits more fruits <laughs> I should probably break this there you go There we go. I'm figuring everything out right now. <laughs> this is a lot of James Bond music that's happening right now. Thanks to support from British forces, the German plan failed. The front line moved back to the north, and with the arrival of winter, froze. Soldiers holed up amid a vast labyrinth of trenches and tunnels that would become the indelible image of the Great War. Karl's regiment retreated to the outskirts of Neuve Chapelle, the same camp where Emil was being held prisoner. Oh my god. <laughs> Anyways, I apologize for my really quiet, quiet, quiet commentary. It's just, um... This is actually one of those puzzle games that are also very story driven. Um, and I'm very sucked into it, especially because I'm just. We live in a climate of uncertainty. Germans use the people of Saint Miel as human shields against the French bombings. I hope the Germans treat you well and that your wound has healed. Your grandson sends you kisses. I sent you a picture of him. All my love. Please write soon. <laughs> I'm working on it. Wait, 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 before I continue. Sweet. So I guess these are items I need to get throughout the chapters that I actually do this. Water first. I'm working on it. Do I get this water? No. Is it water then fire? Ah, uh, let's see. Water. Fire, rough, and hot dogs. Okay, cool. So, like I said, I'm very sorry for my quiet commentary. Puppy! 
Yippee! Okay. Left out. Got you. One. Oh my goodness. Oh, merci. Anyways, it's very story driven. I'm actually going to stop it right here. Very story driven, very heavy already because it's on the topic of war. I had no idea, even though the title said Great War. Honestly, I was expecting kind of like a fantasy war. Uh, but maybe like, wow, wasn't expecting something so, so close to home, especially since I am currently studying political science. Um, we go and we talk a lot about, you know, World, World War One and World War Two and hyperinflation in Germany and all that stuff. So this is actually hitting pretty close to home. And so far, so good. I know that this game is going to impact me in probably really deep ways because I'm already emotionally connected and it's, it's something of my interest. So good looking out, Red Thorn. Good looking out. I have that for sure, this for sure is going to be something that I'm going to continuously do. But as always, you guys know, thank you so much for watching. If you like this, please subscribe. If you do or you don't, or you think I could do something better, please leave a comment down below. If you played this game before, drop me some information. Let me know, like, because I'm still playing around with the game, let me know what I'm doing wrong, or let me just give me some hints without giving me hints. <laughs> Anyways, guys. Thanks so much, and as always, I'll see you guys on the next episode. Bye. What the fuck? Ooh, you get to travel through space and time, save races all across the universe, and be the most important person in the world.